Hello everyone, I'm back hopping on because I have some Scrap Diva Designs projects that I've been making and I just want to show you guys to start off with a uh, Christmas cheer word set. These are such cute sentiment guys. I just wanted to show you because I'm going to be using this on a project right now just to finish decorating my project that I'm going to show you uh, later on on this video. Guys, stay tuned. And so I just want to show you that this font is so beautiful and it's just, I have a little box right here. It's an embellishment box. And just to give you, you just put your little Christmas on there, of course, with your extra, you know, layering and all your cuteness and it'll turn out so pretty using these beautiful sentiments. Guys, these will be available December the 1st on ScrapDivaDesigns.com and be sure to use E10 for your 10% off on your purchase, guys. This aside, because I want to show you so many projects I've been working on. Then the next one here, it's the Pinsetia flower set. Oh my gosh, guys. I have them right here, guys, because I wanted to include them next to me as part of my desk decor. And look at this, guys, this die. Okay, so it's going to make the, the tiniest one, which is this one here. And of course, I made some red medium size. This is the largest size here. So look at the ranges of sizes you get with this Pinsetia die. I basically layered them up three times and some are have a small layer to it and some are just two of the same size and then one a different size. But most of these are layered up with the same size uh, flower or petal. You just die cut it three times and then you layer it up. And it's so cute, guys. You add your center, which is, this one does come with a little center. So I've seen uh, some of the design team uh, cut it out in gold and, and put a little center on there. And it looks super cute, guys. So I wanted, I wanted to show you that. And I've been using also the little elf die set, guys. Oh my gosh. This one here, I haven't used the little tiny one. But it will, I will make some of these so I could have in my stash. But this one is just too cute, guys. And look what I made. I am just, I just can't. I just can't. You know, um, <laughs> I was crafting and I was having uh, uh, difficulty because I kept on losing the pieces. It was uh, my fault. <laughs> it was my fault because, I don't know, I just kept on losing it. And But now he's all placed together and it comes with little holly here. And I just grabbed some of this, um, some of this faux fur, this one here, and it's from Hobby Lobby, guys. I've had it for a while in my stash, and I just cut off a piece, and I ran it through the die cutting machine and uh, with position plate, and um, and it cut it out, guys. So you could run it through. I did it. It didn't mess up my plates or my die, and then I cut out one for the little pom pom on the top, and look how cute. I use some of the distress ink just to make some um the cheeks a little pink there and it's just look and it's a ready uh, ornament ready to go on the tree how cute guys and i did a uh, hand stitch all around guys so all i did is just grab a little face and the little um i grabbed the face and i grabbed the little hat and i just glued them together and then i went around and i sewed it left a little spot here i filled it with my cotton inside then I went ahead and I stitched it all around and I just stitched here with my machine and I just, with my glue gun and my glue, hot glue, I just glued it all around, guys. You don't need anything else but your hot glue gun and you just put it together and look at this cutie patootie right here, guys. Okay, so the next one I wanted to show you is this one here. This one is the Winter Hat Memory Decks. So guys, I didn't make the Memory Decks. Um, I made it a ornament, guys. Yes, look at this cutie. And there's the pincetia right there, guys. It cuts out this. The die set comes with this part here, which basically cuts out beautiful design onto your project. And so all I did is the same thing, guys. I cut it with my full fur, and I, I cut it out with the dies, and I just placed it on my fur. And it cut it out, guys. And then I did stitch all around and I hand stitched uh, the back of it, all of it. And I put a little string on here so it can hang on my tree. And look at the cutie it made, guys. So now I have like these two cuties. Look at that for the tree. Also use it for a memory decks. 
I was in an ornament making mood and I said I could totally make an ornament with this and there you have it guys my ornament there how cute so let me show you the next item so guys this is already out and this is the nutcracker cake and in the uh, theme of making ornaments guys the little mr. nutcracker cake and look how cute he came out um, I added this little bow on the bottom and then I did the same thing guys, but this one actually has paper so it cannot get wet. <laughs> but, um, other than that, I added the felt, I added some, added some glitter on him and it's just the same thing guys. It just layered him and most of the, um, the adhesive that I used, it's hot glue. So I just, I'm still cleaning off the little strings, but man, it just looks so pretty guys. Look at this. So I use my, uh, Mr. Nutcracker cake for that. I will link all these dies down below, guys. Remember, these some of these dies are available now, already available on, in her shop. So remember, guys, I will link her shop down below so you guys could go grab it and you can make this cute little ornament with it. So let me show you the next item that I've been working on, guys. Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. Okay, so I know you guys have been watching um, the Scrap Diva Designs team and their projects. If you haven't, go ahead and check out this hashtag and check out the team guys and what they're working on. So this one's a cake cup holder. So it is the cake cup gift box and I made it into a ornament holder guys. Yes. And I made a little shaker there. You know, I have put some of the acetate on here. I added some little Velcro and I did use this window die from the 3d house gift box and, um, just cut out this part, the little X part here or the plus part. And I layered them and I put them here. I placed this die here and I cut out a little handle. And um, and then I use this one, just cutting out that plus sign for my die. Super simple, guys. Just grab your scissors and just cut off um, just the part that you don't, don't need. And then it just makes this little cute little handle here, guys. And then instead of using... Um, the this part of the die which is the k cup so just for purposes of showing you this is the part of the where it holds the k cups so um what i did is just use my blade and i just cut it off with my ruler and my little blade i just and then i added just one more part to to complete the little box and then i cut these out on acetate and then i put little shaker bits in between and I made this little box. So what I what am I using this box for? Well, let's go ahead and put some little ornaments inside. This is how you could box these ornaments and send them out or send out treats, guys, or little gift bags, little um, presents right here for your coworker or any, um, any snacks that you want to put in here. I mean, possibilities, guys, it's up to you and how you want to... Um, and how you want to use this little box for. Now, I will have a tutorial. I won't have it with the acetate. Um, I will have a tutorial ready so you guys can make this box. It's just so super easy, guys. And let us, let me decorate. I want to decorate this um, here on this video. So what I'm going to do is just grab some of these beautiful Scrap Diva uh, Pincetias. And then let me grab some of the, it's going to be super easy, guys, to decorate. Just need a little sentiment. You need this pincetia, and um, I don't have any little foliage, but actually, I, let me add some of this foliage right here, guys. I have this one that my friend gifted me, so I'm going to add some of this one here. Look how cute it looks already. I'm going to put it happy. This holidays, let me get some of the foam squares. Put happy holidays right there, guys, and then we'll be ready to go. this holly here it's just the perfect amount of just decoration or embellishment onto your project so i have my pincetia right here of course it has to be pink guys let's set her right there and then let me add some glue to this one here so it's just happy holidays right there and let me get some some snowflakes Okay, so I got some of these snowflakes, and I'm going to add one right here. Add some little bit of hot glue. 
And then let me add one over here. Right, right here. Some hot glue right there. And then the last one, I'll add it right here on the corner. Or on this side. I don't know. Probably right here. I'm going to grab some of my Nubo drops and just put a little center on here. Add a little bit of pink. Okay, guys. And there you have it. This cute project, guys, to house these ornaments. And look how pretty, guys. This is so cute. You can even add a little sentiment. You can further decorate on this side if you like. And it's just a cute little box so you, you can add your gifts and your projects in. So guys, uh, that is it for this video. Um, now, stay tuned. I will have a tutorial on how to make this little cute box. And for first comes around, guys, be ready so you guys could go uh, get these dies. They're going to be available at the ScrapDivaDesigns.com. And I, like I said, I will have all this information linked down below. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by and watching. Have a lovely day. I will talk to you on the next video.